Former President Donald Trump landed in Florida today, but before he left office, he issued dozens of final pardons, including the cases of two suburban men. NBC 5's Patrick Fazio has details. Before leaving office, President Trump issued a full pardon to Casey Erlacher, who faced federal charges of recruiting for a multi-million dollar illegal offshore gambling ring. Hello? Casey Urlacher lives in North Suburban Medawa, where he serves as mayor. He's also the brother of Bears Hall of Famer Brian Urlacher, who visited President Trump in March after Casey was charged. In a press release, the White House cited Casey Urlacher's commitment to public service as part of the reason for the pardon. Casey's attorney said in a statement, We are very thankful that out of all of the thousands of petitions for pardon submitted to the president, that he read and appreciated all of the outstanding qualities and decency that Casey possesses. No president before uh, uh, President Trump in the modern era has made the pardon process so much an issue of who you know. Aziz Huck is a University of Chicago constitutional law scholar. I, I think it's good that we did not see a self-pardon or a sweeping effort to pardon members of the Trump family. President Trump also commuted the marijuana sentence of Craig Cecil from the western suburbs. His daughter posted online that Cecil was serving life without parole for repairing trucks used by drug smugglers. We checked Cecil's previous address in Lombard, but no answer. His daughter posted he's been out on home confinement since June oh, okay. due to being a high risk for COVID. Patrick Fazio, NBC5 News. Our thanks to Patrick.